Wouldn't it be great if there were a tool to reverse engineer who links to your competitors? We all know that links matter a lot for SEO, but guess what? There's not just one tool, there's a whole bunch of them. In this video, I'm going to help you understand how to reverse engineer who links to your competitors as part of your link building strategy. Let's get started. First, as you dive into competitor link building strategies, you know, you want to kind of step back and have a kind of a sense of what you're doing. You're, you're really reverse engineering their strategy. It's not so much to find out who links to them, although that's valuable. It's to look at what did they do and to kind of peel back the curtain and realize, you know, despite what Google tells us, that the winners almost always are engaged in some type of link building, which means that they are almost always engaged in violating the Google terms of service. So there's kind of a collective um, unconsciousness about this on the part of Google, which really doesn't want the world to know this or think about this, and then the people doing it who also don't want the world to know about it. So what you're looking for is their strategy. And what you're going to find as you look at links is you'll see that the people who link to them, you can kind of clump them into categories. And then you'll realize that this didn't just happen, that they went out and for instance, they built directory or association links, or they issued press releases that were used for SEO, or they got non nonprofits to sponsor, uh, to allow them to sponsor. So you're going to look and you're looking to kind of figure out what's their strategy. And then you're looking to your own company to find out what could we do cheaply, easily, better than our competitor is doing. So the first point is, is, is you're really realizing that you want to look at strategy. And that's what's so exciting about this. You're seeing the way the world really works, the way that Google really works, as opposed to the way uh, that they tell us it works. Okay, so let's open up a tool here, and I'm going to open up ahrefs.com. Now, I have the paid account to this tool, and I really like this tool, but it is $99 a month to be able to do it. And let's look at some of the websites that perform well. So let's go down here to say NYC Probate Attorneys. So if we do that search, you'll see that, and we're going to ignore Google Local, so it's, and you're going to see that this website here, number three, is nycprobate.com. So we want to reverse engineer who is linking to this website. Okay, so we're going to open up the website there in a browser, copy the URL, and then let's go over to the Ahrefs tool, which you can do three searches per day for free, or you can pay $99 for a month and check out their tool, and let's do Explore. Okay, so then now we've got into this screen, and then over here on the left, we're going to click Backlinks. And then this is really cool because you can go link type, do follow, etc. So you can really drill into it. So let's see here. Let's kind of go in and let's see. So Justia or Justia, I don't know how you say that, Justia.com is linking to them. So Justia.com is linking to nycprobate.com. So if we look in here and we look, we should be able to find it. It may take some time, but you'd go in here and you'd see that Justia links to nycprobate.com. So therefore, now your question is either can I be included in Justia.com or what's a site that's similar to Justia that I could be included in? So I would recommend open up a little uh, text file and put in here justia.com. And then notice that it's a lawyer directory. Okay, so you know what the kind of category is. So question one is, can I get listed? How do I do that? How much does it cost? And question two is, what are similar sites? And once you realize that this is a directory of lawyers, now you realize, oh, I'm going to go to Google and put in directory of lawyers. And I'm going to find other directories such as martindale.com, attorneyrankings.org, etc., that also will accept listings and have backlinks. So you're looking from the tool to find with a category and then, if possible, link to them. Now, what else do you have? Here's the link on Google+. So that's pretty obvious. You can 
figure out who might link to you on Google+. That's an example here. Here's UST again. Here's avo.com. So here's avo. You can see here that avo.com is linking to uh, the website. Um, I've already forgotten it. Um, nycprobate.com. So avo is linking to nycprobate.com. Somewhere in here you'll see a link to the website. And that's the link that we're talking about. Okay, so now we've got Avo, same thing, attorney directories. So you can see a lot of attorney directories. Now, let's look at this one here, Huffington Post. So HuffingtonPost.com has a link to nycprobate.com. And let's right-click, view page source, Control-F, nycprobate.com. And you can see here in the code that in Huffington Post, they have a link to this as well. So now what's the deal here? So someone on Huffington Post wrote an article, Laura Kane, so she wrote an article about gay marriage and that links to their website. So then the question is, how do I get included in Huffington Post? You can reach out to this Lauren person, maybe she's writing a new article, or you can start to see what's out there. Now, little heads up, some of these sites like the Huffington Post, people are kind of willing to sell is a bit grotesque, but include websites on these types of sites like Huffington Post that are constantly looking for new content. So you can kind of reach out to bloggers, and if you do a little research, you may find some who will say, well, I can write a blog post and I can get it in Huffington Post, and that could be a link for you. So there's a little bit of corruption um, that's on this ecosystem. I'm not saying that that uh, is corrupt, but that is possible, and I have seen that before. Reference.com, that's another dictionary. Here's Eustia blog, right? Here's a blog, Eustia, uh, uh, part of that blog. Uh, here's more blogs. So it looks like this guy has quite a few, what, directories, uh, uh, lawyer directories. He has a couple um, articles, like on Huffington Post. Here is um, another uh, article on a website that is, again, this is a legal website talking about legal stuff, and he's got a link from it. So you can use the tool to look for those. And here's a press release, right? So if you look here, is a Russian press release, but there is a Russian, a Russian press release as well. Here's a little uh, another blog post. So you can see this guy really has what? He has directory links and he has blog post links. So now you have two types of links. Let's take another one. Okay, and you can use the Moz tool, the Ahrefs tool, which I think is the best tool. I don't really like the Moz tool. I find a lot of data inaccuracies in it, to be honest. Open Link Profile is, is free as well. Majestic Search is another one that's good. I'm using Ahrefs because I have a paid account. They all work in the same fashion. You input a domain, you see who links to them, and then you reverse engineer uh, who's out there. Let's take another one. So Reverse Mortgage Calculator. So ReverseMortgageAlert.com, this website here, ranks about three or four for that uh, very competitive search. So let's copy that domain. Let's go to Ahrefs, put that domain in, hit Explore. I'm going to close these out while we're waiting for it to do its magic. Okay, so we are looking who links to reversemortgagealert.com that is propelling it to the top of this search, reverse mortgage calculator. So you can see here it's um, about number two or three for a very competitive search. Okay, so now let's look at who links to them. So again, this tool tells us that they have about 390 domains that link to them, about 1,000 backlinks. That gives them a domain rank of about 54. That gives you, that's a lot of oomph behind that domain. Okay, so let's click on backlinks. And then let's scroll down here and we're going to see who is linking to them. So mlimplode.com, let's look at this website. It's somewhere on this very busy website, there is a link to reversemortgagealert.org. So if you have trouble finding it, sometimes I just copy that domain, right click, view page source. You don't have to find it, but I find it's, it's interesting. So it's telling you here, it's on the resources link. So then you can go back and you can kind of go control F resources. And you can see here somewhere that there are resources links Okay, so here it is over here. So it's over here. So this is probably a paid link. 
So this is a good example of technically a violation of Google Terms of Service because this website is essentially linking to other websites without using the nofollow attribute. So therefore, let's make sure it doesn't have nofollow. So it's a good link, nofollow. So this is a little bit of, I would say, corruption on the internet. So then your question is, can you email these people and be linked by them? Or can you find other kind of bloggy sort of um, newsy sites that are in your industry uh, to link link to them, to link to you? So that's one. Uh, here's another one. It looks like they're on a lot of those. Is it bankimplode.com? You don't even have to look at this point, And you can see that they've got a link there, right? This also tells you the... Um, uh, optimized content of the link. So here's a link over here, Yaivangal 98 Home Decorating. So let's open this one up and go look at it. And again, once you're kind of doing it, you don't really need to look and go find the link. It's enough to kind of understand what it is. At, at this point, I, I don't even really have to look at this. I'm going to tell you this is a probably a very low quality blog. It looks like maybe even in China that's linking to them. That's an example of some link building that's probably a little bit dangerous in the current uh, environment post panda so you can see here here is a blog and the blog post is linking uh, to them somewhere in the blog post so now you can find out can I get linked on olderiswiser.com Will they write a blog post about me I can reach out to the person who wrote this article it's about a year old Amy Jackson etc cetera, etc cetera. so again the category is blog the question is can I find a blog that would write about it and then you can say well what is this blog about this blog is sort of a blog about getting older and finance and so then you go okay now I know what I'm looking for go to Google type in you know blogs on finance for old people, to be honest, right? And then look, and okay, here's senior living, and then now you have blogs that write on older people issues. Would they write an article about you, or could you send them a guest post? So again, the tool has shown us what's out there. So you go through the tool, and you're looking for the category. It's often a blog post. It's a directory. Sometimes you'll find link bait out there that's out there that people are linking to. You'll get a sense of that. And then you're going to use that data, make a list in a notepad file or a Word document or a Google Doc, what kinds of uh, people are linking to that competitor? Would they link to you? Are they complementary? Were they something that you can actually get a link from? If they're not, if it's like a, clearly a website that will not link to you because they're kind of in bed with your competitor, then what could you create that would be similar? What's a similar website that you could link to? So I've got the link for moz.com, Ahrefs, OpenLink, Profilers, and Majestic Search Explorer. All of these will do the same thing. Uh, to be honest, the free trials of them are pretty limited. So I would recommend you know, setting aside a month. If you go into a tool like Ahrefs, what's really cool about it is you can export over here on the right. So you put in your competitor up here. You're looking at who links to them. You can export it. So what you can do is you can export that into a data file and then pull it out. And then you can pull out all the links to your competitors and then uh, discontinue your contract with them. So for $100, you can really use a really um, super quality tool uh, like Ahrefs. Uh, the other tools I have over here, moz.com, um, this is their tool. Again, not my favorite very popular in the industry a lot of people love it i do not like their products i find them very hard to use but that's my personal opinion open link profilers is a really good tool it's really going for new links it's pretty cool and the majestic search explorer i haven't really used these tools uh, a lot of people love their um their thing they're all really the same they're all kind of doing the same thing Let's talk for a second again about what you're doing. You're looking for the strategy, who's linking to them and why. You're making a list. You're looking for complementary sites. These are sites that link to the competitor that might also link to you. An example would be an industry director directory. A competitive site would be, you know, grandma's blog, not going to link to you. A supplier to them, not going to link to you, this kind of thing. Uh, if they're competitive, you want to find out uh, what could you do similar? And I would list sites as com complementary. Yes, I could get a link. Competitive, no, you couldn't. And then you're also trying to think of the category that that site fits into. Oh, this is a directory, avo.com. 
then I could also get links from other lawyer directories. Let's wrap up really quickly. First, what we learned is we want to reverse engineer competitors to figure out who links to them with really an eye to uh, figuring out what's actually going on in terms of link building. Uh, and we're realizing that this is not accidental. Secondly, we learned that we want to use some of the tools. They're sort of free, uh, but I do recommend that you use a paid tool for this activity. It's the free tool. The free only gets you so far for these. Ahrefs is really good, but it has a free trial, which is not that good. So you really have to kind of pay to use it. Moz.com and the other ones are good as well. Put any comments in the YouTube uh, description below and uh, subscribe to our channel and all that good stuff. And thank you for watching this short video on how to reverse engineer competitors using some of the tools out there.